Hey guys, Chris from Adaptuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 4 from the Jan 2012 PUA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so we have a cooperative question, and it starts off by saying the Roseau Valley Farmers Cooperative was formed on the 1st of Jan 2011. There are 8,000 farmers each of whom contributed $20 towards the purchase of initial shares. At the end of the first year of operation, the cooperative realized a surplus of $268,500. All right, what else are they telling us here? The board of management made the following decision. So we have a total of $80,000 is to be paid out in patronage refund. Then we have 20% of surplus is to be transferred to a statutory reserve fund. Then we have 10% of surplus is to, per year, sorry, is to be reserved in an education fund. And finally, dividends of 8% are to be paid on member shares. The first thing they, they want us to do, however, is to outline two principles or essential features of a cooperative. So, you know me, I don't just like to give you two, I'm going to give you a few more than that. So, some essential features of a cooperative. So, we have voluntary association, open membership, variable nature of members' liability, democratic control, limited interest on capital, distributive justice, and service motive. Okay, let's take a look at part B to this question. All right, so what they're telling us here is to calculate the return on investment for the Roseau Valley Farmers Cooperative for the year ended 31st December 2011 for two marks. So the return on the investment is the amount of money the members quote unquote get back for investing. So if we go back up to the first paragraph, remember that there were 8,000 farmers, each of whom contributed $20 towards the purchase of initial shares. So 8,000 by 20 is $160,000. So that's the initial investment. The return on that investment is the surplus realized by the cooperative. So what we need to do is express this surplus as a percentage of the initial investment or the, the capital investment, however you want to phrase it. So I just have return on investment for the year ended 31st December 2011. So the surplus for the year, as we just saw, was 268,500. We're gonna divide that by the capital investor, which we said is 8,000 members, each contributing $20. And that gives us a total contributed capital of $160,000, total contributed share capital. And when we divide and express as a percentage, we get 167, 0.81%, which means the members get back not just what they invested, but an extra 67% on top of that, 67.81%. So that's a pretty good return. Okay, let's take a look at part C to this question. Okay, so part C says prepare the appropriation account for the Rosso Valley Farmers Cooperative for the year ended 31st December 2011, 10 marks. Okay, so let's pull up the information here which gives us the different appropriations. And of course, don't forget that they told us that the surplus was 268.5. So don't forget to head up your appropriation account properly, name of the cooperative, name of the statement, and the period to which it applies. So of course, we're gonna start off with the 268.5, which is the surplus, and we're gonna make the appropriations out of that. The first appropriation was the patronage refund of 80,000. So we're just gonna plug that inside of there. Next, they are telling us that 20% of surplus is to be transferred to a statutory reserve fund. So we are simply going to find 20% of 268,500. That gives us 53,700. Next, they are telling us that 10% of the surplus per year is to be reserved in an education fund. So similarly, just like the statutory reserve fund, we find 10% this time of the 268,500, which gives us 26,850. And the final appropriation is the dividends of 8% are to be paid on member shares. The calculation is 8% of the 8,000 by 20. So remember, we just saw in the previous working that the total amount of share capital invested was 160,000 because it was 8,000 members who invested $20 each towards share capital. So when we are given dividends as a percentage, we have to multiply the dividend percentage by the value of share capital. So totaling all those appropriations is going to give us 173,350 and subtracting that from the 2685 is going to give us our unappropriated surplus carried forward of 95,150. Okay, I think there's just one more part of this question. Let's take a look. 
Right, so they are telling us here to show the capital section only of the balance sheet statement of financial position of the cooperative as at 31st December 2011. Okay, so we're going to pull up that solution here, head it up properly, Roseau Valley Farmers Cooperative Balance Sheet Extract, so pardon me if I didn't put statement of financial position, again trying to save space on the horizontal as at December 31st 2011. So they want the capital section. So we're going to have a few things here. We're going to first have the share capital, which we talked about earlier, which is 8,000 members paying $20 each, giving us 160,000. Then we are going to have, remember, the statutory reserve fund that we just made the appropriation for in the appropriation account. And of course, the education fund, which was the 10%. And we also have the unappropriated surplus of 95,150. And those are all the items, so when we add them up, we're going to get total capital and reserves, 335700 And that's about it for this question. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question 4 from the Jan 2012 PUA Paper 2. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe, and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some pretty useful PUA handles. Anyway guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.